Morning guys, welcome back to the Autosportivo YouTube channel. The weather's really nice, the pollen count is really high, hence why I got these on because my eyes keep watering. Uh, hay fever is so bad today. Anyway, the sun's out, the Zoe yellow spider is out. I've noticed you guys are loving our Alfa Romeo content. We've done the GTV. I think now let's do a stylish convertible Alfa Romeo. Let's see what it's about. Let's see how it handles. And I'm going to get James in on it as well. We'll do James's reviews. Now, James is a Mazda MX-5 fan. I'm trying to tell him this is way more stylish than a Mazda MX-5. Yeah, MX-5 handles better, but this, look at it. Look how, look at it, just, it's beautiful. So let's get on with it and uh, we'll get the roof down as well and enjoy this car today. I thought about you guys, but yes, red for me is, I love red, but Zoe Yellow, in an Alpha, I think it's beautiful, especially the Spider or the GTV. Unfortunately, this one, it's not a V6. Sorry, it's a two litre twin spark <clears throat> engine. Um, should we see what works and what doesn't? I think we should. Do you think the roof works? Shall I, shall I do it while you count it down for me? All right, let's do a short count time down, it. time it how long the roof takes to go yeah. down. All right, let me get my timer if it up. Works. It works. Which I'm, I'm guessing it does, because you've probably- Do you know how to use that. it? Uh, probably not. Go on then. <laughs> so timer is, clock. It is electric though, yeah? It's electric. Okay, okay. I'm gonna time how quick the roof goes down in one of these. Okay, right, I'm guessing ignition on is required. Not yet. All right, you ready? I'm just checking the latches are undone. The latches are undone. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, um, right, you ready? I, might, I don't know if you need to start the car. Uh, oh, maybe. Hang on, where's the immobiliser? Yeah. It's got a funny immobiliser on it, so no one can nick it. <laughs> That'll do. Starts Go on, on then. The I'm going to... All right, ready? Three, yeah. two, one. Go. Go. Oh, they are some interesting noises. Right now. The windows are going up. We're done. How long did that take? 60 seconds. 60 seconds? Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I could have made a cup of tea if you told me. I would have put the kettle on. Oh. Jesus, 60 seconds. Yes. Okay, well, it loses to the MX-5 there because the MX-5 takes about three seconds. Does it? Well, because it's manual. So yeah. you just go click, click, yeah. and then you flick it back. And I bet there's less stuff to break. Yeah, and there's less complicated like, mechanisms. When I'm on eBay wrong. and I'm looking for Alpha Spiders, hmm. it's like, does the roof work? These, I think these are, are the amount I've had to repair. They're mm. horrible, nasty. If you get one that's working, happy yeah. days. But every time I use it, I worry, that is it's this going to be the, the day, last time the last that it time works? <laughs> it works? <laughs> but this one, it seems to be working fine. Um, it's had the rear screen replaced by the previous mm. owner, um, but it's working. But I do get scared every time yeah. it's used. Uh, I mean, it's cool that it's electric, yeah. but like the good thing with the MX-5, like the old ones, and even the new one, the new one's manual again, um, is like if you're at a you know, red light, yeah. you can just go click, click and throw cool. it back and you don't have to worry about like, the light's gonna change green and you're gonna be halfway down your 60 seconds. <laughs> oh, James, it done. you know this is the phase two, yeah? Mm. The phase one, um, it's not electric. You can literally oh. and throw it back. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm right, and I? Comment below. I mean, the cool thing is that this is all very neat and tidy. Yeah, Because it like, on an MX-5, cool. obviously you get, the roof is kind of flapping around. You even get like but... these um, chrome bars you can get. Oh, okay, yeah. And I believe they did a, um, a mm. hard top to put on it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, it's got like some big holes in. Yeah. Maybe that's where that's it clicks it. in, I don't know. Um, right. Oh, important question, as this is a convertible. Yep. Uh, is this structurally 
rigid enough if it rolls over that you it, it doesn't cave in. Shall we find out? Is it a roll bar? I don't know because the out. MX-5 it isn't a roll bar, so if you flip an MX-5, yeah. you will die. Ah, well we could find out. I don't think I want to. <laughs> <laughs> On it. So this it is fiberglass. This is. Feel it. <laughs> is it actually fiberglass? Yeah. It is. Yep. Okay, and maybe, maybe here not. we've got the engine that I don't like. Do you remember the 145 episode and I was going on about the CF1 engine, how I prefer mm. it? This is the one with the plastic, CF2. And uh, I don't like it because it's gone wrong on me so many times. When I had the phase two 145 and had this engine, do you know how many bottom ends it went through? Um, I don't know why, <laughs> but I don't like it. Um, sounds good. Um, but yeah, we don't need to look at this. It's not a V6. But it has an extra like couple of horsepower, Five horsepower or something yeah as i've been told yeah there you go yeah but we don't need to look at this today who needs five horsepower when you're bottom this end is car blown up? i don't think this car is it's not one of them cars for performance is it it's days like this some italian music going around the hills of bedfordshire other music is available <laughs> other music is available <laughs> um this is a car to like you know put the roof down enjoying summer days on brighton it? beach go to the beach let's have a look inside shall we shall we go to the yeah. beach so again we have momo leather seats as in all gtvs and spiders have we got quite a lot of um compartments again glove box and we've got the buttons in there for the boot we have a compartment here we have a little cubby hole back here. Look at this, James. And you can lock it mm. as well. So you can lock the glove box, you can lock this in case you leave the roof um, down. And in here, oh, we have the battery. battery. And some more storage. It's a yep. shame that the battery's there actually, because if it wasn't, you could actually use the rest of that storage storage quite. quite um, so quite you deep. close that. I mean, you can put shop in here. Um, we've got a nice big speaker here in the middle. The big woofer. Big woofer. Um, I like it, I like, I love the inside of um, GTVs and Spiders. I mean, I'll be honest, the interior of this is a million times better than an MX-5. No, yeah, definitely. Um, that is the one place where it hands what down. What is the boot like in a MX-5? Uh, it's big enough to get a set of golf clubs in. Is uh, it? I've tried and tested that. Are you that. ready for this? I have a feeling. Well, this looks bigger, but I have a feeling it might not be. Oh, it's not too bad. You could probably get some golf clubs in that. Yeah. If you remove the spare wheel. Yeah. See, with the MX-5, you could get golf clubs in it with the spare wheel in. And then you know what this is? But only just. That, that is does? the emergency escape pulling thing. I don't know. So because Alpha Electronics is so good, <laughs> if you're ever at the petrol station and the button inside doesn't open the flappy, you could get in and pull that. That's but then, clever. But then you're going to have problems to get to that if this doesn't work. Oh yeah, that is a slight so, issue. Can like, you not open it with just the key? You can open it from a button inside, which that could fail too. Hmm. And then you can open it with the key. Crank it open with the key. Yeah, and but then pray to the Alfa Romeo gods that it opens. Yeah. On a good day, everything will work. On a bad day, nothing will work. On an Electric, average day, some things might work. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Electric aerial. Nice. That comes up when the stereo is on which I don't know if that works. Um, but you don't care, you just jump in it and um, drive it. It does look cool. It does, I have to it. give that to you. So this it... has had new discs and pads all round. Um, timing belts all just been done, the service has just been done, all by the owner. So thank you, by the way, for <laughs> letting us have it for today. Um, James. I'll let you go around with your camera and do some bits and then we will get it out. Yes. And go for a cruise. Go for a cruise and we can hold hands. Yeah. Wait, what? And see how it handles. Yes. Do you think the owner's Italian? Uh, I mean, to be honest, only Italian people are crazy enough to buy Italian cars, so probably, yeah. Yeah. The only thing is, is it's lacking, well, yeah, it's too late. I was going to say it's lacking the pop-up headlights, but this is, 
more of a Mark II era car, isn't it? Which didn't have pop-up headlights anyway, because I think they banned them. When did they ban them? Like 90, yeah, in the mid 90s sometime at the time. Because apparently pedestrians don't like being hit by pop-up headlights. But the way I look at it, pedestrians don't like getting hit by cars in general. So yes. yeah, it's, it's irrelevant, point. really. Um, you know what I did notice when I drove it to work this morning? You get a lot of looks in this car. People smiling, looking at it. It is pretty. You get a lot of boys waving at you. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty. It is a pretty car. Right, so here we are. Uh, I think the temperature now is about 27 degrees. It's about 20 million degrees. I'm melting. The leather on this chair is about <laughs> 6,000 degrees. My, my back is burning. My forehead is melting. <laughs> um, and my hay fever has got worse since yes. this morning. And that's why we are both wearing sunglasses. <laughs> it's not because we think it looks We're cool. cool. <laughs> it's because my eyes yeah, are red. Same. We don't think we're cool. We, we're for some reason, you decided to buy a garage in the middle of a field, basically. Yeah. So the plants are attacking us. I'm sorry. So my first thoughts on this is, it's a beautiful car to drive on a beautiful day. It is. Look, and I can do this. Wait. Yeah. And I can feel the hair. The, no, the hair. The hair. The air going through my the hair. The air in your hair. It's lovely. It is nice with the roof down. I, I do miss having a convertible, it is, it is nice. I mean, obviously the coupe is gonna be sh more stiff and probably better to drive, but on a day like today, if you're just cruising, you're this, not pushing yeah. it hard. No, this is not one of them cars. No, it's a, it's a wafty car. Yeah. You waft around in it. <laughs> yeah. And you, you enjoy the, taking the scenery. It's bright yellow, yeah. people look at you. Maybe for good reasons, maybe for not good reasons, who yeah. knows, but it's fun. Fun. No, it is nice and it's comfortable. It is, isn't it? It is a little bit creaky though. It's creaky, it's wobbly. Yeah, there's a lot of noises coming from around here that are probably not great, but I mean, all convertibles from this era are a little bit creaky, yeah. so you can kind of forgive it, I think. Uh, the, um, do you remember the, the VW Golf Cabriolet? Yes. I think it's the Mark III. That was like this. That was a Creaky weird looking. And wobbly and... I mean, that was a weird looking car as well, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. I've never really understood the Golf Cabriolet thing. That was the only, that's, I could compare it to that. But yeah. anyway. Um, but anyway, this is cooler because it's not a Cabriolet, it's a spider. Yes, yeah, a spider. Because it's Italian. Because everyone, no one seems to universally be able to agree on a name for a convertible. It's either a convertible, it's a spider, a Cabriolet, yeah. uh, what else do they call them? Uh, everyone's got their own name. You know, it's like an estate. One company, it's a, an event or a touring or a shooting break or like no one can just call it an estate. So. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds better with the roof off than the coupe. I mean, it would sound better if it was a V6, but it sounds pretty decent. Yeah, I know. Have any of you lot got the V6 and the Zoe Yellow? Fancy popping by to show me? Yeah. Feel free. I'd love. I'd love to be taken out in one of them. Mm. Not been in one. I bet you would. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but you so. definitely get more noise with the convertible. I mean, like when I had my MX-5, I used to always take the roof off just because I loved hearing the sound. It sounds so much better. I feel like the front and the car, the front and the back of the car is not attached to anything and I can feel it just it's a bit wobbly yeah but then I need to remember this is not a performance car this is just no just hop it in it it hop might it on look a... like a performance car <laughs> it looks like one <laughs> but it isn't really it's a stylish show-off car yeah yeah I think um I think though this suits being a convertible quite well some cars when you chop the roof off look Horrendous. Yeah, this is so pretty. Whereas I these, so I think, look very good. Um, there you go, that typical twin spark engine. Hey, it goes. It does go it, when you put your foot down. It does. Actually, well, down this terrifyingly bumpy road, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. 
Uh, As a passenger, it feels pretty quick. Does it? Yeah. Ooh. Brakes work. As yeah, we just found work. out. Yeah, the brand new discs good, and pads. Good. We uh, need them there. Needed to bed them in then too. Yeah. Um, nah, this is just a. It is a nice place to sit. The interior is nice, and I think that's the one thing. Because like, obviously, comparing this to uh, like a Mazda MX-5. Yeah, you can't really. It, it, the interior in this is is leagues ahead. I mean, like the materials feel reasonably decent quality. I mean, yeah, it's not like you know, it's not a BMW, but it's like the door cards have got some nice leather on. Like where in, a, in an MX-5, anything you touch feels like it's like a toy. Do you know what I mean? It all feels really cheap and nasty, whereas this actually feels feels nice. Well, you got mono leather seats. Yeah, I mean these seats are, are good. Door nice. cards are nicely stitched. Yeah, you got pleated leather. I mean, what, what more could you want, really? Style factor. This is ten out of ten. Yeah, I feel like Mazda and Alpha spend their money very differently. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, what was this price-wise new? Do you know? I don't. I'll find Roughly. out. Because yeah, obviously. Out. The MX-5 was very cheap, and you could kind of tell, but they'd spent all their money on the engine, mm. the transmission, and it paid off in that regards. And, you know, it had decent suspension. I mean, I don't know what this has got. Can you hear a funny noise? Sorry, sorry yes. for a second. I, I can hear something. I can hear... The problem is there's so <laughs> much noise coming from this side that I don't know what you're describing as being funny. I or don't know, all just, of a sudden, after doing yeah. that... I can After hear something. After accelerating three <laughs> times, <laughs> the car has broken. Oh no, I don't my know. god. I think it's just general rattling. I don't yeah. think it's anything major. Should we ignore it? Probably. Ignore and carry know. on. <laughs> just I'm keep gonna, driving, it's yeah, fine. I'm going to find um, a safe place to pull over, James. Yeah. And we're going to have James's honest reviews. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say that we're going to inspect the car to see if anything's <laughs> fallen off it. No. no. It's okay. still driving, okay. we still go. Yes. Um, I'm going to pull over in a minute, somewhere safe. Before I melt into this chair. Yeah. And I don't know if you're going to like driving it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's always a good sign. I mean, I'm enjoying being a passenger in it. Do you? Yeah. It's like if you said on a summer's day, oh, which car should we go out in? As this a one. passenger, I'm like, yeah, let's go out in this. This is nice. It's comfortable and the sun is shining and I can put my hands in the air like a white girl and uh, <laughs> what, what, what could you want? Oh, careful of the cyclists. Bloody hell. Yeah, this is a dangerous place to cycle. I don't know why yeah. you'd cycle around here. I wouldn't cycle around here. I mean the benefit of it not being a Cooper is I can see my visibility is amazing. I can see everything out the back. Yeah. Infinite rear window. Also I like how ambitious it is that it has a heated rear windscreen because I'm oh, almost yeah. certain that it's not heated because right. it's plastic and it doesn't. I didn't even think about that. I don't know why Honestly, it has that button. I know it's been replaced. Yeah, maybe the originally it was a heated one. I don't know. Were they originally glass or were they always plastic? Plastic. Okay. I like how it's got an air conditioning as well. Well, I mean, if we had the roof up, that might work. I don't know, but we don't. Oh, look, another convertible. It's convertible day. Yeah, he's not slowing down. He is, just not a lot. He's a ballsy man, you see. Yeah. Number one selling point of this car is you can put your arms up just as long In as you don't tip over. sweaty armpits. Yeah. Well, you might need to, because it's that hot. Just air them out a little bit. All right. Power. Power. Ooh. It does eventually get there, doesn't it? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to rip your face off, is it? But sure. it's enough that, like, you know, if you need to overtake or anything like that. I mean, let's be real. This is not a, you know, a race car for the street. It is a wafty, fun rooftop. Yeah. down experience and I'm enjoying it for, for what it is. Do you know what? This is actually a comfortable place. Oh, I've got so like, much leg room here. As a passenger it's great. It is, isn't it? I could do long journey in this. Mm. Oh, the indicators don't cancel. Yeah, it's quite rattly, isn't it? <laughs> but for some reason it's worse on that side. Like this, this side doesn't seem as bad. I think that door, it's maybe probably because that side of the road as well is worse, because yeah. it's like the edge of the road, or isn't it? Or somebody's taking it apart and not putting it back together properly. Yeah. Or it's just typical Italian. Yeah. Characteristics. Yes, typical <laughs> Italian shenanigans. Yeah. yeah. 
No, I mean, it's, yeah, it's definitely not as uh, rigid as the coupe. It definitely feels a bit wobbly. Yeah. Like, I'm not getting a lot of confidence in this. I don't think I'd want to hoon it too much. <laughs> I um, know. But... Imagine I mean, what the V6 one's like. I would imagine terrifying. I can't imagine this with a V6 in it. Although the sound would be glorious. Please, somebody pass by on a Saturday and yeah. show us if you've got one. Because I would love to hear rooftop down, or roof down V6 Busso noises would be off the charts. I'd just like to know how it handles. Yeah, I'd imagine terribly. Oh yeah, I've got to cancel the indicator manually. Keep forgetting <laughs> to do that. Right, here we go. Twin spark power. How are we with temperature? Is it overheated yet? Uh, I don't know where the gauge is. There? No, it's slap bang in the middle. Oh, okay. We're in happy, happy zone. Okay. <laughs> do you like how it's all positioned? Yeah, I do you? actually. It reminds me of a 350Z. Yeah, I mean, now that we're on a smooth road and there's no rattling, it's lovely. Yeah. I have to chuck it around this bend as we usually do. There's nothing coming. I bet it looks so good from Oh yeah, out from there. the outside. Yeah. I mean, it looks good from in here, to be fair. Yeah. I wouldn't want to be stuck on the M25 today. No, not in this either. <laughs> I would literally have third degree burns on my face. And constant worrying if it's going to overheat. Although well, uh, at least you can put the heaters bad. on and yeah. you wouldn't know. Whack it up. And how do you think it compares to the um, 500 pound GTV, which we are still giving away? Oh, like, yeah. subscribe, you might have a chance to win it as soon as we hit 20,000 points. Um, the 500 pound GTV definitely handles better. It, it feels more like glued together because this is a bit more wobbly. Because yeah, GT has a roof. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like basically, the, the Spider versus the Coupe. Uh, for ninety-nine percent of the time, the Coupe. For the one percent of the days when it's like this, and you're not planning to race anyone, this is cool. I, I do like this. It's fun. Um, and you know, it, it depends what you want from your car. If you want to just enjoy the roof down, cruise and pose a bit, then this is obviously the better choice. Yeah, I'd only, do you know what, I'd only buy one of these to take out on a Sunday, with it yeah. like this, and just go for a chill yeah. out, get and an ice know, cream. It's not a super expensive car, so you don't have to like park it at the furthest end of the car park, you can just use yeah. it and enjoy yeah. it. Do you and think this car's a babe magnet? Probably not. No? I don't know. I don't think any car truly is a babe magnet. The only cars that are babe magnets are ones that are just really expensive because gold diggers <laughs> be gold digging. James, what's your overall thoughts um, on the Spider? I like it. I don't think you can compare it to an MX-5 though. No, it's not really, it doesn't really tick the same boxes. I think as like a car for a day like today, if you just want to waft around, you know, not drive it too hard. Yeah. It's really nice. It sounds pretty good. Obviously the V6 would sound better. Um, and it drives, it's pretty comfortable, but for like a back road machine, which an MX-5 I think is, is pretty good at, yeah. I wouldn't take that. It's no. too wobbly. Yeah. But it's not as bad as I thought, because everyone kept saying how horrendously disconnected it was. And I don't think it's that bad. It's not as good as the coupe. Um, I would definitely take the coupe over this though for like the other 99% of the time when you're not enjoying the sunshine and driving, you know, along a beachfront. I think the coupe is, is a better car. But let's let's be honest. But it looks cool. It's stylish. It does look it's cool. It's so sexy. And I will say that it does look better than a Mark II MX-5. I think it looks better than any MX-5. <laughs> no pop-ups. You can't beat the Mark 1. It just looks happy. It has a happy face. Let's um, wrap it up there. Guys, okay. comment below. What do you think of the Alfa Romeo Spider, and especially in this colour? And if any of you lot have got a 3 litre V6, comment below. Let me know. Pass by if you're in the area. Pass by on a Saturday and let us have a look at it. Take us out in it. Mm. But um, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, it all helps for us to produce more videos yeah. more content more exciting stuff for you yeah thank um, you guys they should have made it real wheel drive that's like that's the last thing i'm gonna say i'm done <laughs> the end goodbye take care <laughs> <laughs> uh.
Yeah. It would have been cool if they made it rear-wheel drive. But then it wouldn't have... Obviously, the idea is that they can use this platform for lots of other cars. And this is the same platform as the flipping Tipo. Everything. The 145. Yeah. The Bravo in there. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why it's front-wheel drive, ultimately. Yeah. Um, but the MX-5 was the best-selling... It was. And it's a better. car of all time. MX-5 and is better than this, but this is... It is sexy, especially in yellow. Yeah. I will give you that. It is sexy. But what Italian, what, what Alfa Romeos aren't sexy. Yeah, no. They're all kind of sexy, aren't they? Are we still rolling? Uh, yeah, we are. I oh, mean, we're God. facing away from the camera. Sorry. But <laughs> oh, and the aircon works. We're just talking. Oh, we just gassed the aircon. Yeah. And it's icy cold, yes. which, which was a shock to both of us. Which really helps with the roof down, because all the yeah. ice cold kind of... <laughs> we're, we're combating global warming, you see, because we're, we're burning fossil fuels, but we're, <laughs> we're also shooting out cold air into the environment to even it yeah, out. Yeah, we could put these in the outtakes. Yeah, 